Hi everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In today's video, we're going to be looking at loose connective tissue. Uh, so just a little reminder, connective tissues are made up of two things. They're made up of cells, and they're also made up of extracellular matrix. And those cells are made up of two different types, such as uh, fixed cells, such as fibroblasts, fibrocytes, um, mast cells, macrophages, things like that, plasma cells, and also mobile cells or transient cells. So any of the sort of white blood cells, neutrophils, um, basophils, eosinophils, and so on. The extracellular matrix, of course, is made up of uh, ground substance, and also fibers. And when we talk about um, uh, loose connective tissue, we'll see that there's actually lots of cells, or generally there, there's a lot more opportunity for cells, and there's increased amounts of ground substance uh, and decreased levels of fi uh, fibers. Uh, and they tend to be individual fibers rather than bundles of fibers. So we're gonna have a look at some examples of loose connective tissue uh, in the body in our three minutes. Um, so let me just get rid of this and we'll start our three minutes. Okay, so what we're looking at here is uh, the small intestine stained with hematoxylin and eosin. These um, uh, finger-like projections here, these are the villi and the villus is lined by a simple columnar type of epithelium, and beneath that is our loose connective tissue. And you can see here, all of these are nuclei of different cell types. Um, it's a highly cellular type of loose connective tissue. Because if you think about it, the gastrointestinal tract is exposed to the external environment and therefore is liable to have lots of bacteria and things. A simple epithelium isn't much of a barrier for uh, infiltration by bacteria, viruses, and, and so on. So we have quite a robust immune system uh, sitting within the loose connective tissue here. So the spaces that we can see, these would generally, it's a little bit artifactual, but generally be filled with uh, ground substance. Ground substance being largely water, gets removed during processing for microscopy. Now there's not a lot of evidence of fibers here. Um, but we can see lots and lots of different cell types. So we can see these um, nuclei with very little evidence of cytoplasm. These are the lymphocytes. Uh, these larger cells are probably macrophages. We can see some smooth muscle cells here. Uh, we can see a neutrophil, for example. Uh, we can see some plasma cells, so the ones with the basophilic cytoplasm. These are the plasma cells producing antibodies and so on. Uh, so lots of different things actually use loose connective tissue uh, if it needs to be. Now, if we go to the next slide, this is actually the same section, so the small intestine, but stained with trichrome. And in this case, um, the collagen and, and the connective tissue fibers are actually stained blue. So if we zoom in to have a look at the um, loose connective tissue of our uh, uh, epithelium again, you can see very little evidence of blue. They're just these small, thin streaks. In indicating that there's small, thin individual fibers, connective tissue fibers like collagen and elastin. And in fact, some of that's related to the basement membrane, which would have sat here. There's a bit of artifact there. If we have a look at this, this is a section of the um, trachea. So trachea is a pseudo-stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. It looks like it's a stratified epithelium, but in fact, it's a simple epithelium. And you can see that here in its loose connective tissue is also very cellular because again, it's a simple epithelium, not much of a barrier to invading microorganisms. And we know the respiratory system is exposed to the external environment. So lots of immune cells are in its loose connective tissue there. However, we know that uh, loose connective tissue can be cellular, but it's not always. So if we look at this stratified squamous keratinized epithelium, for example, the skin, we can see the loose connective tissue here not very cellular at all. We can see an evidence of a fibroblast here. We can see the fibers, individual fibers, but not a very cellular type of connective tissue at all. So it really depends on where this loose connective tissue is found. If it's uh, underneath a simple epithelium that's exposed to the external environment, it's likely to have a very highly cellular type of structure. Whereas if it's found in a uh, underneath a, a stratified type of epithelium or an epithelium not exposed to the external environment, it's likely to be uh, less cellular than the other types. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in our other videos. Hooroo!